Hello everyone, if you have a data set where you need to create a list of sequential numbers or generate a series of dates, then you know how important it is to learn Excel auto generate number sequence. You can easily create the number sequence within a click. So this is Jihadri Anjim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several methods on how to use Excel auto generate number sequence. In our first method, we want to use basic addition to auto generate number sequence. Here we have serial number, name, and age column in B, C, and D columns. At first, we have to go to the B5 cell and enter our first serial number which is 1. Now in second case you have to use the addition. So you will select the B5 cell and add plus 1 with it. So after pressing enter you will get your second sequence. Now if you use the fill handle option then you will get the serial number according to your wish. In our second case, we want to use fill handle option to auto generate number sequence. To do that, we have to enter our first two serial numbers, which is 1 and 2 in this case. Then we have to select both the serial numbers and now drop down to the very last cell. You will see that your serial number column has been filled automatically with the fill handle option. Alternatively, you can also apply fill series option to get your serial number sequentially. At first, you have to enter your first serial number 1 in the B5 cell and then you have to select the column where you want to get your serial number. Then go to the home tab and go to the editing section to get the fill option. Here you have to select the series option to get the series dialog box. Now. In the series dialog box, you have to select step value as 1 and stop value as 10 as we have 10 values. Now, if you press OK option, then you will get your sequential serial number. In our new case, we want to use the row function to auto generate number sequence. We'll use the same data set of the first method and now at first, we have to go to the B5 cell. Here. We have to insert the row function and then we have to select the A1 cell. You can also select B1, C1 or D1, any cell of the row 1. Now if you hit the enter button then you will get your first serial number. Now drag down the formula to get the result for every cell. So that's how you can easily use row function to auto generate number sequence. You can also use counter function to auto generate number sequence. To do that, at first you have to again go to the B5 cell. Here you have to write down the counter function and then you have to select the value 1 which is C5 value. Then you have to enter your last value. Then you have to go to the parenthesis. As I am trying to get the sequence, so I will make it absolute by pressing F4 in the keyboard. Now if you hit the enter button then you will get your first serial number. Now if you drag down the formula to the very last cell then you will get your sequential number order. In our new case we want to utilize the offset function to get our job done. So we will use the same data set of the first method and at first we have to go to the B5 cell. In the B5 set we will enter our first serial number which is 1 in this case and in second case we will use our offset function. To write it down at first we have to select B6 cell and then we have to write down the offset. Then we have to select the reference which is B6 cell where we are already working on. Then we have to select row number as minus 1 and select 0 as our column number. Then we are trying to get the serial number so we'll add plus 1 with it. Now if you hit the enter button then you will get your circle number. 
Now drag down the formula for to every cell to get the job done. That's how you can easily utilize offset function to auto generate number sequence. The most useful way to auto generate number sequence is to use the sequence function. So here we have the same data set of the first method and at first we have to go to the B5 cell. Here we have to write down the sequence function and then we have to get the values as we have 10 rows so we'll select 10 as a row number and hit the enter button then the function will automatically generate the number sequence for you if you also want to get long before the sequence then you can also add with it at first you have to write down the long then you have to insert again double quotation and press n button and after that you have to write down the formula again which is sequence and now you have to select again 10 here and now insert the enter button so you'll get your serial number but now you have also long before it so you can also use sequence function to auto generate number sequence in our new case we want to auto generate number sequence by using combination of sequence and counter function now we have serial number and name in column b and c our target is that we will only generate auto numbering whenever we have entered a new name in the c column now at first we have to go to the b5 cell and we have to entry our formula which is long at first then we have to use the and operator and then we have to use the sequence function in the sequence function you have to again use the counter function and here you have to select the data range which is c5 to c9 and after that you have to press the enter button then you'll get an error because there is no data in the column c now if you keep entering data in the column c then you will get your serial number according to your wish so this is how you can easily do your job in our new case we want to use the if function to get the job done at first we have to go to the b5 cell and now we'll enter our first data which is one then we have to go to the b6 cell and now enter our main formula here we have to go and write the if function then we have logical test our logic is that the b5 cell have to be equal to 10 now we have value if true then we'll select 1 as value if value false then we'll add 1 with it b5 plus 1 so now if we hit the enter button then we'll get your sequence now drag down the formula to use it to every cell then you'll get your serial number according to your wish in our new case we want to create number sequence ignoring blank cell to do that we'll use the combination of if and quanta functions at first we have the same data set of the first method and now we have to go to the b5 cell here we'll insert our formula let's break down the formula first at first we have if c5 cell this portion checks whether c5 is empty or not if c5 is not empty the formula returns the result of the counter function otherwise it returns an empty string then we have to go to the next portion which is counter function in this case the counter function mainly counts the number of non-blank cells in the range c5 to c5 here the dollar sign between the c5 make it absolute reference so it will always refer the c5 regardless whether the formula is copied the range c5 is relative so when the formula is copied other cells it adjusts refer to the appropriate cell now in the last section we have the empty cell this is the value that the formula returns if the cell c5 is an empty so 
let's hit the enter button to get our result now if we copy down the formula then you'll see where it has find any kind of data it has shown the serial number but where it has found nothing it has ignored it so that's how we can easily create number sequence ignoring blank cells in our new case we want to use a relative reference name range in order to auto generate number sequence for this at first i have to go to the b5 cell then we have to go to the formulas option in the formulas option you have to go to the defined names and select the defined name option here you can select any relative name in the new name option i'll select upper as the name now in the refers to option you have to write down the indirect formula which is written here in this case if you press ok then you'll name automatically saved in this case now copy down the formula to every cell to name it properly now go to the b5 cell and in this case you'll write down the sum option then if you write down the upper then you'll have the upper option here now after that in the number 2 you have to press 1 to add 1 with it now hit the enter button to get your first number now copy down the formula to get result for every cell so that's how you can easily use your relative reference name range to get the job done In our last case, we want to auto-generate number sequence with a text. To do that, we'll use the combination of text and row function to get the job done. We have to go to the D5 cell and enter the very first cell B5 and operator and then use the text function. In the text function, to have the value, as value, you have to enter the row function. In the row function, you have to reference which is a1 in this case after selecting a1 as reference then you have to enter the format of the text as format of the text you will select double zero then again you have to press the enter button and now you have to also show the end operator and get our second value which is c5 cell if you hit the enter button then you'll get your job done now if you copy down the formula then you'll get a auto generating number sequence with a details text so that's how it is done that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can also download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelimi.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.